We're heading back through the cat flap, and this time we're going behind the scenes at all three of Battersea's catteries. In London, Old Windsor, and Brown's Hatch. Cats can be a bit of an enigma, and humans often struggle to understand their feline friends. Historically, dogs and cats have been domesticated very differently. They've sort of evolved from an independent, sort of solitary animal that's quite um, self-reliant, quite independent, very good at doing its own, its own thing. He doesn't settle. <laughs> Do you? We see a lot of breeds that come into our centres, particularly recently we've had lots of Bengal cats. Bengal cats are very closely related to the wild cat, but their characteristics are strong. So they're very solitary, but also they're very demanding, so they can be quite territorial. Pippi that is actually in with us at the moment, looking for a home. Um, he is a Bengal cat and he was brought in because he was terrorising the cats in the neighbourhood. Pippi is um, really affectionate. Um, he's also um, highly active as well. He's very intelligent. I think in terms of reading cats' body language as well as possible, um, at Battersea in the category we use what we call a CAT acronym, C-A-T, and the C stands for Choice and Control. So we like to make sure that we give cats the uh, choice about whether they want to interact with us or not, and if so, how long they might want to interact for. And we always make sure that they have the choice uh, to sort of move away if they wish to do so. Thank you. Gorgeous lad. You're not going to come out? Is it too noisy for you? The A uh, stands for attention, so this is where we try to pay uh, close attention to maybe some of those subtle signs around the cat's body language that the cat might not be particularly comfortable during the interaction. So we look out for things like head shakes, uh, we look out for things like skin twitching, uh, we look out for things like lip licks, uh, moving away, perhaps freezing. And the T stands for touch, uh, which is where we tend to focus uh, touching the cat around their head, effectively sort of cheeks and chin, okay. which is where we think most cats are quite comfortable being touched. It's okay, go on. Every cat is an individual, so some cats may be a very affectionate lap cat. Other cats may also be more than happy just for your company rather than your constant interaction. Um, I've never met, met the same cat twice. Next time we go through the cat flap, we'll be looking at how Battersea staff and volunteers help make life as stress-free as possible for all the cats in their care.